Good morning, said the sun. Good morning, said the sun. I'll be shining on you all day long. Good evening, said the moon. Good evening, said the moon. I'll be dreaming of you all night long. Wake up. Good morning, boys and girls. Well, today is a brand new day, and today I am wearing my pajamas and my thinking cap. We always wear our thinking caps on Monday, fresh and new, ready for the week to learn, but I'm wearing my pajamas because I did remind you a little bit last week that we're going to have spirit week this week just to pep, e um, pep each other up and to prepare for Holy Week next week and for Easter. So today is pajama day. If you don't have your pajamas yet, put them on, put your thinking cap on. I'll wait for you. Just pause it. All right, so today is pajama day. Uh, tomorrow will be crazy hair day, so do your hair all crazy. Um, on Wednesday will be superhero day. On Thursday will be uniform day, so wear your uniforms. I'm pretty sure it's over there sitting there, lonely, waiting for you to put it on. And then on Friday, St. Linus Pride Day, wear your St. Linus spirit wear, any of your shirts, your jogathon shirts, whatever brings out the St. Linus spirit in you. Okay, so make sure that you do all of those things during this week. I will send you a schedule also in this email. So today is Monday, March 30th, 2020. So um, let's say it all together. Today is Monday, March 30th, 2020. So let's um, change the date right here from 27 when we were the last, when we were here last, it was the 27th. So today is the 30th. That's how you write it. That's, they call it the digital date. It's the numbers. So three is for the month, 30th is for the day, and 2020 is for the year. So 3-30-2020. So we're going to clap on Monday since today is Monday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, let's begin again. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, that is all for now. So today is Monday, March 30th, 2020. It's almost the end of the month. I cannot believe it, you guys. It's almost here. Let's add a couple more tally marks to the March tally. So we need to add one, two, three, because we were not here over the weekend. So we need to add two for the weekend and one for today. So 30 would be uh, six tallies of five or six groups of five. So we could count by five. Five. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, so let's write that in our calendar journal. So today is Monday. We would write Monday right here. So today's Monday, yesterday was Sunday. We were not here. And then tomorrow will be Tuesday. That. And then the weather outside, it's looking very sunny. So I'm just going to put, it was beautiful this weekend. A little bit windy. <sighs> Sorry. It was very sunny this weekend and it's super sunny today, but it is still a little cool outside. So I'm gonna write that it feels cool. So I use my eyes, my sense of sight to tell us that it looks sunny and I use my sense of touch, my skin to tell us that it feels nice and cool. A little bit, oops, of an announcement, boys and girls. We are going to be continuing um, Star of the Week and that'll be in a different video, a separate video from this one, but our star of the week this week is Caitlin. So um, I have gone ahead and sent her some um, All About Me worksheets, a little smaller version of the All About Me poster that we, posters that we usually fill out and the kids will present to you guys. But since we're not in the classroom, I sent her a sheet, she's gonna fill it, she filled it out for me and I will present it to you in a separate video for you. All right. So how many months do we have in a year, boys and girls? If you said 12, you are correct. What 
is the fifth month of the year. Can you count it? Look really close. If you said May, you are correct. One, two, three, four, five. The fifth month is May. We are in the third month, which is March. One, two, three is March. So let's sing it. And January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. Those are the months of the year. Boop, boop, boop. All right, so going to our 100 chart and our buckets, our 100, our 10, and our ones buckets, I'm going to add another day, another straw to our one bucket. Now we have, last time we had five in our one bucket. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six in the ones bucket, one spot. We have two bundles of 10 in, sorry, there's a glare from my light. Two bundles of 10 in our tens bucket and one big bundle of 100 in our 100s bucket. So this is how we're gonna write it. All right, so writing fingers up. One is fun. So one bundle in the 100 bucket around and back on the railroad track. Two, two, two. And down the street around, oops, sorry. That is not correct. We had six, six in the ones bucket around and around until we stick, stick. That's the way to make a six. Gosh, it was a good weekend, right? All right, so on our 100 chart, we passed the 100. So we'll just count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So that is 100 in the chart. That's 10 rows of 10. All right. You've counted them all. We've practiced so many times by twos, by fives, by tens, by ones. We know how to count to 100. All right, so um, like I said, we have Star of the Week. Um, next week will be a short week, so I won't have a star that week, but the following week we will. I will have a new person and I will tell you who that is next week. But for this week, I would like you to work on phonics you're going to be working on the short vowel e this one is red hen red hen so make sure you read the little um, poem on the top and listen for the short e sounds and then you're going to circle the words that have the short e sound in it for example web does wet eh, eh, eb have a short e sound it does so you would circle it okay so go through the list the, all the pictures and if you hear the eh 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 sound like web or hen like in the um poem you would circle the words that have the short e sound in it eh, eh, eh. so work all through the short e sound pages until you get to fish food on page 141 and you're going to be reviewing all the short E sounds after you finish with short E and the fish food you're going to we're gonna uh, start on the long vowel sounds so instead of a e, e, a, and a uh, we're gonna work on the long vowel sounds which are a e I O and ooh, okay? This week in math, you're gonna be working on comparing the numbers from 11 to uh, 20, sorry. 
So all the numbers between 11 and 20. So 11 and 12 starts 11 and 12. And then it ends with comparing the numbers and identifying the numbers 19 through 20. Okay. So go ahead and do pages 159 through 171 this week. But in addition to the phonics pages today, just for today, I want you to find words or think of words with the short E sound in it. So I have given you some examples. I will give you some examples. You're going to write the word and you're going to try and draw it. Find at least four words with the short E sound. So I thought of some words with the short E sound in it. So I have jet, j, eh, 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 t, jet, and I drew a picture of a jet plane. I well, I tried my best. I also thought of the word pet, p, eh, t, pet, and I drew a picture of a cat. I have a pet cat. And then I also th thought of the word elephant. E -le Actually, the second E is also a short E sound. Elephant. Spell it as well as you can. And then I drew a picture of elephant. If you can think of more words, please write them down. And then try to draw as many as you can, okay? And that is your activity for today. Also, I again, I will send a separate video of our star of the week, who is Caitlin. Congratulations, Caitlin. So she's going to do her All About Me poster today or her worksheet today. And then she's going to show us her uh, favorite book. And then on Thursday, she's going to um, show us her special item. And you guys are going to try and guess what it is. You guys know what to do. You're going to ask questions. That's going to be on Thursday. Okay? So have an awesome, wonderful week. Happy Monday. I love you guys. I miss you. And we'll see you soon. Bye.